What's up YouTube, this is Kevin with Arnold Prince, the channel that helps your business grow. Today we got something coming for you. We're gonna do basically a hooping system and show you how to use this thing. So this is the all-in-one hooping system. It's basically a pegboard system that uh, has multiple sites of points that you can do a left chest, you can do sleeves, infant, adult, um, youth, all kinds of different things. So it's almost a universal board. So this thing is great. We're gonna do jackets today and I'll show you how this is done. So there's a little device here. It's basically a pegboard system and has two clips. The two clips actually hold your backing on so it'll go over the, uh, the hoop or the back of the hoop for your design. So basically what you do is you align it, you get it on here and make it so it's center. Two little pegboards go in, it works beautiful. So after that you have basically two holes there, two holes there, it's centered. Now you have the bottom supports. So we have two bottom supports here, very simple. The hoop just sits right on top of them and that's it. It helps you with alignment as well. So what we're gonna do now is we have two types of hoops. The first hoop system is your traditional one that comes with probably most of your machines and it's basically uh, back of the hoop and the top of the hoop. And these are basically uh, sort of friction mounted. Basically you have to squeeze them into each other and it sandwiches the material from the jacket inside of there. Okay, so that's the most basic one. The second one here is actually a magnetic style hoop. These are great for jackets. It makes it very easy and quick to actually hoop these on. So what it is is basically a two part system. Same thing as the other one. You have a back hoop and a front hoop. Now if you hear it here, that is a magnet. Okay, so the magnet drives the material together. It keeps a very close proximity of the fabric, uh, basically making the best contact that you can have. Okay, so these are great hoops. They're very expensive though, about $130. Uh, these, I believe, are a hoop master. Um, it says pinch hazard on here. So these things can pinch. They can grab your finger. So it's one of those things that you basically like just let it go and kind of commit to it. Otherwise, you will pinch yourself. Uh, second note is don't embroider naked because it will get your pecker or it will get a nipple. So just a hint. So anyways, these hoops also have a warning on them because they are highly magnetized. Thank God I don't have a pacemaker because it would shut my pacemaker off and I could die. So these are not pacemaker friendly. If you have anybody in your shop who has a pacemaker, they cannot work around these, okay? These things will demagnetize or possibly even shut off their pacemaker. And unless you have a really good liability suit, I would not recommend having these around them or have them sign a waiver that they will not come in contact with these or use these. And that will be very difficult because these work really well and most people will probably be tempted to use them. And then all of a sudden they'd talk to John over here and oh, hey, and they just shut right off. So don't use them if you have a pacemaker, um, really any type of magnet type device in you, transmitter, whatnot, do not use them. But great device otherwise. So basically how this works is we're gonna take off the back here. The back literally just sits in the groove here and you just make sure that basically you're, you're level and you have enough side, uh, you basically just make sure that you're level and that you have enough side clearance. And what you do is basically put your backing over the top here, and then you literally just go on like this. You feel the magnet start to pull, and you just drop it on, and it snapped, and that's it. Second hoop we have is the traditional. Same thing, you're gonna put it in here. It's a little bit more tricky to do the alignment. So you try to get as center as possible, and then what you do is you're gonna basically try to level up these two silver arms, and you have to shove and push it hard into it. So when you're pushing, you're basically gonna go both hands and try to snap the rings in. So the fabric's gonna slide underneath it, making it a little bit more friction and actually hold on to it. The magnet one literally just go snap, one and done, and that's it. So I like the magnets, very expensive. If you have them, you're very fortunate. If not, you can still do jackets great with these. So I'm gonna show you how this is done. First thing you're gonna need is basically jacket backing. Ours comes in a roll here. So basically what we're gonna do is cover the, the width of the all-in-one. So we're gonna go ahead and trim. Now make sure you have a good pair of uh, scissors or shears. Uh, dressmaker shears work great, or this is the ER Life One shear. It's a very heavy duty shear, can cut through metal, denim, all kinds of things. So great to have around the shop. And also razor sharp where you can actually cut threads on the embroidery machine and have a clean cut. So this goes on to here. You have one clip and two clips, and basically it's just gonna drape right over it. So now you have the hidden hoop, 
which is underneath. Now what you do is you find your jacket and you're gonna basically thread your jacket. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the back. So our hoop over, pull it down, and then what we're gonna do is basically align it to the board. So when you're aligning to the board, you wanna look for certain landmarks. So I usually use the edges of the sleeves and I try to say, okay, does it come to the same spot on each board? And if it does, you're in luck. Also, you got your hoop here, two fingers to the side of the hoop, two fingers to the other side. And that's how we do it. These are 10 by 10 hoops, by the way, on a barred in machine. So now that it's hooped, you can feel the top of the hoop. So what we have to do is actually pull the jacket up a little bit. So again, we'll pull the jacket up, probably a finger width above it. And now we're ready, okay? So now we're gonna do is push the hoop on. So what we're gonna do is basically come on to here and then what you do is, like I said, we're gonna to try to make these horizontally aligned. Uh, so right now they look like they're about horizontally aligned. So they are, you have equal space on both sides and then we're just gonna push it on. So what I'm gonna do is basically force into the hoop here. So I pushed into the hoop and basically it snapped into place. So now the hoop is on. Now the best thing to do is to basically pull up, pull down so it pulls the fabric off of those clips and then take it off the thread and then always take your hoop and make sure you pull the bottom hoop onto it so it has better registration. It's gonna be tight, be like a little banjo drum and then basically you're just gonna thread this onto the machine and you're done. So that's how you do a jacket back hoop on the all-in-one hooping system. Till next time guys, check out the channel. Again, this is Arnold Prince. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like, that helps us out greatly. And if you like the content, give us a comment down below and anything that you might have a question on. Thanks guys, till the next one. Peace.